Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the GRE official guide, fourth edition, 2025. It came out. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you. But not for this particular question, because this particular question is actually not in the book. It's a bonus problem, which is why it does not have any page number. Today is day number three. The question is very straightforward. The question simply is, what's the unit digit of this quantity? 12 raised to 4 times 19 squared times 33 raised to 3rd. And these are the answer choices 2, 3, 6, 7, and 9. Do it yourself. See what you can do. Let's see what we can do. Let's begin with this guy. 12 times 12 will end in a 4. Multiply it by 12 one more time and it's going to end in 8. Multiply it by 12 one more time and it will end in a 6. 16. There we go. 6. Let's work on this guy. This guy actually is very... It, it, it plays no role. It's very trivial. It plays no role because 19 squared when you multiply 19 by 19, it's 9 times 9 is 81. It's going to end in a 1. And because it ends in a 1, this quantity, because this quantity ends in a 1, it actually plays no role. It's just there for, it's just there for a show. But since it's here, we're going to do it out anyway. 19 times 19, that's 81. That ends in a 1. It plays no role. There's 233 cubed. 33 times 33 will end in a 9. Multiply by 33 one more time, and this quantity 9 times 3 is 7, it ends in a 7. So once we have the value for this one, which of course we're not going to do it out, whatever this value is, whatever the 12 raised to 4 is, whatever it is, it ends in a 6. 19 squared, whatever it is, ends in a 1. 33 cubed, whatever it is, it's going to end in a 7. And now we have to multiply these three quantities, and when you multiply these three quantities, it's just 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 7 would be 6 times 1 is 6, and 6 times 7 is 42, it ends in a 2. It ends in a 2, because 6 times 7 is 42. The product of this quantity, whatever it is, we are not interested in that, but whatever it is, will end in a 2. The answer is A. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.